The following program is sponsored by the Maryland State Fair. Live from the Maryland State Fair in Timonium, this is a Be More Lifestyle special, Fun at the Fair. Hey everybody, it's me, Lady T, and you're tuned in to Be More Lifestyle. We're live here at the Maryland State Fair. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. It's so much happening right now. But before we get into anything further, let me introduce Meteorologist Justin Chambers and Traffic Jam Jimmy. We are gonna do our Let Me Tell You segment right now. So much happening at the fair. You've got rides, you've got a concert, you've got, oh my gosh, I heard there's, a, there's an ax throwing. I heard there's like an escape room of some sort. Anyway, a lot of exciting things, but I wanna to talk to you guys first. So what is your favorite thing to do at the fair? Wait, I wanna, JC, can you hear me? I wanna hear from you first. Yeah, 100%. You know what it is, Lady T, and it's eat. Eat, E-A-T. E that's why you, oh, that's why you come to these things, right? <laughs> I love it. Well, <laughs> my favorite thing, of course, is, let me see, besides the food, because you know, JC, that's where we, we we understand each other on that. But besides the food, I have to say my favorite part is listening to the people yelling on the rides. I love hearing people yell. I love their facial expressions. I like when they go on the ride with one hairstyle and then they come off with it lopsided. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Jimmy, talk to me. What's your favorite part of the fair? Well, when I came in this morning, I'm a 12-year-old boy all over again. I love the fair. I love the animals. I used to like the rides when I was younger. But I like the food, mm -hmm. but my favorite place now, I like to come in the air condition to Exhibition Hall, and in a couple minutes, we're actually going, mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite places. Ooh, okay. Lady now, T, that sounds I don't exciting. understand. How did how did Jimmy get in the uh, air conditioning? We're standing out here in the heat. Right. What the heck's up with that? Right. Who do we need to talk to? I know stairs, people. JC. I know people. <laughs> Wait, real quick, what is everybody's <laughs> least favorite part of the fair? I'm assuming it's gonna be the heat, uh, obviously. The heat. <laughs> Yeah, I would say probably the heat, and I'll do what I can about that. I mean, it's hot, it's August, we know mm -hmm. that's what it is, but it's it's fair weather, and that's good, but it's, uh, you know, the right. night times when you have all the lights and everything, so hopefully we can keep the rain away. But, I, you know, look, I'm going to tell you, eating on eating all the good food and then going on one of those spinny rides, eh, no, not, not happening, because that's 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 not good for JC. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no. Nope. That's a no-no. Now, it's time to be honest now, you guys. Have any of you ever thrown up after going on a ride? <laughs> Nope. I nope. Never. Hand, At all. Hands up. Never. Hands up. Oh, yeah. Justin, Me, you I have. have. Okay. I don't, okay. Yeah. I, I didn't tell you, I didn't tell you what again. I didn't like. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I've actually thrown up on a ride, but I'm not ready to have that conversation yet. <laughs> 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 uh, all right. Well, okay. Now we want to hear from the people at home. What is your favorite part of the state fair? Is it the concert? Is it the, what, let me see, the rides? Is it the foods? What is your favorite part? We want you to go to foxbaltimore.com slash vote. Make sure you vote on there. Go on that lifestyle tab. And we want you to vote and tell us what you think. All right. Okay. All right, so now, I, you know I can't wait to try everything out. But right now, Traffic Jam Jimmy is at the Negro League Baseball Exhibit. Jimmy, can you tell us more about the exhibit? I, I sure can. I have with me the ambassador of the Negro League, Mr. Ray Banks, who I consider an old friend. So hi, Jim. Good morning. So tell me about how you got this exhibit here a little bit. Well, we've bought the uh, exhibit from the Negro, from Owings Mills. Our exhibit itself is here now at the Maryland State Fair. The museum is actually here at the Maryland State Fair. All right, so let's talk about what we get to see this year if you come to the fair. If you come to the fair this year, you're going to see uh, some new things. For example, you'll see the uh, statue of Ernest Burke uh, that was unveiled up in Harry Grace, Maryland about a couple months ago. And this year is the most gratifying year to me because we're highlighting uh, Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron, how about that? And Hank Aaron, as you know, was one of the home run kings of all times as well. There were a couple of them. Of course, you know Babe Ruth. Everybody knows Barry Bonds. I consider Hank Aaron a home run king. Yes, and so do I. <laughs> okay. And there was a Japanese home run king called Sadahata Ho that uh, very few people know about. And as we pan down, you'll see a lot of the artifacts of Hank Aaron and all, and uh, 
It talks about the exhibits and everything. So you got to come on out to see the Maryland State Fair in the Exhibition Hall and see all the exhibit that we have here on site. Awesome. And joining me now is Don Conway. Don, tell me a little bit more about the exhibit. My, my exhibit deals with the Negro League Baseball, which started in 1920 by our famous man, the father of Negro League Baseball, Rube Foster. I like to talk about the nine players that I call my blue dot ball players. These nine ball players played in the Negro Leagues, they played in the Major Leagues, and now they are members of the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Well my deserved. exhibit will show you many of these players. They did outstanding things. We have the home run king in the nine, Hank Earn, Ernie Banks, Larry Doby, Roy Campanella, Satchel Page, Monty Irvin, uh, Jackie Robinson, and one that people don't know much about is Willard Brown. He only stayed in the Negro uh, in the Major League 21 days, but he was the first black ball player to hit a home run in the Major Leagues, and that was an inside the park home run. Willard Brown. There you go. Well, Ray, you got a challenge you were telling me about you want to do. What's that challenge? Yeah, I challenge all my softball friends, no matter whether you played uh, in Anne Arundel County, uh, Howard County, Harford County. I challenge every player to come out to the Maryland State Fair, see the fair. We didn't do it last year. You got to come out and be a part of this this year and come on through Exhibition Hall to see the exhibit itself and also go up to the uh, Hubert B. Simmons Museum of Negro League Baseball in Owings Mills, Maryland. This is such a beautiful exhibit. I love it out here. Get out of the heat. Come inside to the air-conditioned Exhibition Hall. I tell you, Ray, I want to thank you, Don. I want to thank you. And remember, man, I just, I just come out and learn a little bit of history. All right, coming up next. Thanks again, Ray. Thank you. Coming up next, Lady T shows us some rides. And you're watching Be More Lifestyle, live from the fairgrounds. You're watching Be More Lifestyle. Hey everybody, it's me, Lady T, with Be More Lifestyle, and I'm here at the Maryland State Fair, and joining me today is James Ingram. He's the Midway Liaison for Degler Attractions here at the State Fair, and I'm looking, I'm loving all these rides, I'm loving all the attractions here. All right, so where are we? What is this ride that you have us at? We're on the Atlantis Funhouse. It's a two-story funhouse. Mm -hmm. It's brand new to the fair this year. Uh, it's one of our newest rides, and it's... It's a lot of fun. It's got a lot of tricks and actions for the kids and okay. the families to come through, so it's a good time. Oh, okay. Now, what's everybody's favorite ride that they love to try? Well, we've got the giant wheel, of course, everybody loves. Mm -hmm. The merry-go-round and tilt the whirl, all your favorites like that, plus our thrill rides. We have the Hydras here. Mm -hmm. We got a bunch of, and the Spaceport. So there's a lot of fun rides for the all ages here. Okay, now why should everybody try to come out here to the State Fair and ride all these rides? Why should we come out? Because we've been cooped up. <laughs> so we right, need, to, pandemic, need to get right? out and have fun. Right. Uh, you know, we follow all CDC safety <laughs> protocols. Mm -hmm. Our rides are fumigated and sprayed sanitized they're good for 24 hours mm -hmm. uh, I mean you're outside you're in fresh air right you know we need to put smiles back on kids faces oh I they've been love locked that. up the kids need to have fun excellent okay what time do you need to come out here and try all this out we open at noon today okay yeah so and come on out and join us it's chick-fil-a day hey it's chick-fil-a day and you get to try some great attractions thank you so much James you're welcome thank you all right This is Be More Lifestyle. All right, welcome back. Another fun thing at the fair, another highlight from the fair, checking out the 4-H competition. All right, so joining me today, I have Bella Verdiglione, and you're a member of the 4-H, correct? Yes. Okay, so tell me about what 4-H had you doing. Um, so for what I do here, I, um, these are my project animals, so I show them um, and use them for mm -hmm. the county fair and the state fair, and then they'll go to market at the end of the fairs. Okay, so tell me about raising them. What was that process like? Um, so it can be harder because sometimes you gotta 
uh, make sure that they weigh enough or they weigh less because you don't want them to be too big for the fair mm -hmm. so they can get in a class and working with them so they can walk on a halter and walk without one and taming oh. them. Okay, now tell me their names. What did you name um, them? This is Betty Boot. She's the Betty you, Boop. And this is Stormy. Oh my God, so Betty Boop and Stormy. Well, I'm feeling their whole look. I see you've got them shaved and they've got the, the hooves with the fur. <laughs> I say that in my flow rider voice. <laughs> Um, what made them what made them your favorite so far you know in dealing with agriculture have, have lambs been the only thing you raised yes okay. um they're my favorite because they're different than like the pigs and the cows where mm -hmm. they can trust you and you can create a bond with them mm -hmm. and with pigs and cows they're kind of just wild and then you show them in the show rings right yeah, no, I can understand that. And they seem so receptive to you. Like, they just <laughs> respond to your every move, your every pull. Oh, my goodness. I, 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 well, how did this, how did 4-H impact your life? Um, so, I ride horses, and I started when I was two. And then we found the Horse Masters group uh, so I could learn more about horses and find people that also wanted to learn about horses and make friends so mm -hmm. then I shown sheep for a family friend for a while so I started the 4-H sheep livestock and my brothers did it when they were younger too awesome so can you tell us tell the people at home why they should join 4-H and why it's important 4-H um, is a really great learning experience for anybody if you want to do anything they have a lot they have sewing they have um, baking, mm. there's like rabbits, you can do dog showing, and mm. it's just awesome and it's a fun way to learn. Okay, how to awesome. Okay, now where can people catch you? Where can they catch you, uh, with you and your lambs? Um, we're in the Caltopia barn, um, and we're show tonight at 6 p.m. and tomorrow at 10 a.m. All right, so you heard it from here first. Bella, catch her at 6 p.m. today before age. Thank you so much, Bella. You're welcome. All right. Now, we can't be at the fair and not try the food. Meteorologist Justin Chambers is taste testing some of your favorite foods. Hey, JC. Hey, what's up, Lady T? Yeah, inside the Funnel Cake Factory, one of many that are here at the Maryland State Fair, which opens in just a few minutes from right now. We wanted to get an inside look and see how funnel cakes are made, and you can get fried Oreos and lemonade and all sorts of other good stuff. I got my buddy Jim Ingram here from Degler Attractions, and Jim, you are the funnel cake king, right? For, for right now. <laughs> for the next two minutes, I am. The next two minutes. I mean, okay, you guys are gonna be here 12 days. You got all sorts uh -huh. of uh, different, you know, funnel cake stations. Yeah. How many, how many funnel cakes you guys think you're gonna go through? Ah, in 12 we'll, days. We will probably sell well over 100,000 funnel cakes on this fairground. Easily, over easily, 100, easily. Now is the everybody key, loves funnel cakes. Now you're cake. pouring that in. Is yes. the key to making a funnel cake the way you kind of swirl it around like you just did? It's it's a talent. It's a talent acquired <laughs> acquired over time of pouring in a million of them. Yeah. But. And it basically, you said it's kind of like a pancake batter, but you just kind of let it in here. This is just a fryer, yes. right? Yes, like, yep. Just you can almost do this. It looks yep. like mac and cheese. Yeah. It really looks like mac and cheese, but it sure doesn't taste like that, right? No, it's much better. It's well, much better. I don't want to offend the mac and cheese people. But okay, I got you. Now, every, everybody loves funnel cakes. Now, you got, you got the uh, the toppings as well, so mm -hmm. now it slides over to here. What are, and this is just kind of, it's still You got to let the right? one side cook, you, and then you got to flip it. You got to flip it. Yeah, that's exactly right. It's always important to flip, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, once you get this thing out, you've got all sorts of toppings. What do people usually like? I mean, you get, of course, powdered sugar, but is there a favorite that people have? That people love getting apple topping, strawberry topping, cherry topping. Yeah. Um, it just depends. You can, get, you can get chocolate sauce on it. There's lots of toppings. Now, and the fried Oreos, that's a whole nother thing where you're uh, taking, taking Oreos and... To a new height. Oreo, <laughs> Oreos are just unbelievable how popular they are. Um, I know they're popular when you start seeing them in restaurants yeah. and, and fast food stores, but uh, nothing, nothing like the carnival. Nothing, nothing like, like the carnival. nothing to, like the way we make them. All right, so this thing is almost done. So yeah. each funnel cake takes. Well, we've only been talking for just a couple of minutes now, yeah. so that's that's what you're saying, right? Yeah, pretty much. 
They and cook then, pretty quick. And then once this thing comes out, hot off the presses, we come right down here, right? Yep. You got to make sure to get all that grease on it. I'm going to do attempt to do some of the powdered sugar there. action. Now remember, right. the bottom's hot. Bottom's hot, yeah. Okay, bottom's we got to drop it like it's hot. Can you see that, Kenny? Yep. So I'm going to take this little thing, and this is what you, how much do you like put on here when you it, like it? It all depends Whoa. on the people. Whoa, it's getting blown around. How does this happen? <laughs> oh my goodness. Looks like we're, it looks like it's snowing and I'm the weatherman. All right, I'm going to put a little chocolate on this thing right here. And there we go. All right, you see that? How does that look? Does that look good? It looks beautiful. Did I do okay? It looks money. Now, I got a, I got a fork. You got a fork around here? Let me get a fork. Oh, yeah, get you a fork. So I can try to eat this. Is it going to be really hot right now? I'm telling you, Jim, or what? You'll be all right. <laughs> he says I'll be all right. All right, funnel cake time at the fair. Uh, again, you're going to come and see all these funnel cake places. You know Jim is the funnel cake man. So, oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. All right. I gotta wrap it up so I can finish this. We'll have more coming up from the fair live. Bye! This is Be More Lifestyle. An excellent show to check out at the Maryland State Fair this year, the Paul Bunyan Lumberjack Show. And joining me is Lumberjack Lee. Lumberjack, how you doing? I'm doing great, Jimmy. How about yourself? I'm great. Well, tell us about the show this year. Oh, we're going to have all kinds of fun. There's going to be chopping, sawing, log rolling, axe throwing, dragster chainsaws. It's good old-fashioned family fun. Excitement, thrills, and chills. So tell me about uh, this guy rolling back here. Well, right there, that is one of our expert log rollers. That's Mr. Daniel Beckstead, and you can notice how much control he has. Watch this. Tell him to turn. Turn, everybody. Oh, wow. Tell him he, to turn back. Watch he's this. Dry. That's a good sign because he's been up there for about five minutes. Yeah. Turn back. Bob it up and down. Splash the mustard off of Jimmy's face. Oh. <laughs> That is awesome. All right, let's see. Splash that chainsaw there. Let's take, talk about the chainsaw and then cutting. Okay, well, that is a, that's a hot saw. Okay. If you can come, kind of pan over here, take a look. This here is an expansion chamber. It kind of works like what you got on your car, a turbocharger. Gotcha. We know you're running that uh, nice uh, 2021 Ferrari, you know? Right. Yeah, so this, this doubles the horsepower, gives it more power. And um, that's what that is. It's kind of a noisemaker. Some people might see them on dirt bikes, but it really does work. Gotcha. And then we got the axes. These are double bit axes. This is a 28 inch handle, two and a half pound, five inch bit. And we throw 20 feet away to the center of that bullseye. Why don't you show me how you throw a 20 feet? I'm going to move out of your way if you don't mind. I'll tell you what, it's going to be pretty tough. I haven't thrown very often here. It's been, you pulled me out of retirement, Jimmy. All right. Let's see what I can do. Here goes Lumberjack Lee. Oh! How many points is that? That's four points. I missed four the bullseye. Points. I missed the bullseye. Yeah, well, you, you did good, though. All right, so tell us what else is going to be happening out here. All right, well, we're going to do a little chainsaw sculpturing. and we got a log over there. we got the uh, chainsaw that's going to go on that section and the hot saw. If you want, I can see about maybe firing up one of these saws. <laughs> when can people come out and see? The show is going to be on three times a day. It's going to be on a 12 three and six every single day of the entire fair. We're located right near the Cow uh, Palace Barns, and that's where we're right there in that section. And how long have you guys been touring? Well, I've been doing lumberjack shows since I was 11 years old. Wow. But the Paul Bunyan Lumberjack Show actually has been touring for over 35 years. 35 years. And we go on five different continents, coast to coast. As we're speaking here, believe it or not, out in uh, Oregon, we got another show that's doing a, a same thing that we're doing, another television shoot out there. And that's at the Oregon State Fair. We got another one going on the Marshfield Fair in Massachusetts out on the Cape. Awesome. And we got this one here. And th this is what I call the A crew because I'm here. A crew. Well, come out and see <laughs> Lumberjack Lee for yourself. All right, Lady T, I'll throw it back to you. All right. Welcome back. And we wanted you all to tell it. What's your favorite thing to do at the fair? All right, well, here are the results. So it says 55% say food is their favorite part of the fair. I'm not even shocked. I feel like, of course, of course, food would be the thing to choose. All right, Jimmy, JC, uh, this has been a great day so far at this fair. I see people are lined up, ready to come in, and obviously they're ready to try the food. <laughs> JC, yeah. what did you try? Let me, let me tell you. Let me tell you. 
Let me tell you, Lady T, this is a fried Oreo right here. I've never had a fried Oreo in my life, and it was I've amazing. Had one. I've got a new favorite fair food. Oh my God. It's delicious. It's Isn't it delicious? Up. It melts Woo. into your mouth. It's amazing. Melt in now, your mouth, I wanna baby. Try, melt in your mouth. I want to try a fried green tomato. I see them selling them over there, and no, I think that's what I'm going to head towards first. No? You don't want no, one? No, not at a fair. <laughs> not at a fair. It's going to be Jimmy, have you ever had one? Yeah, I had one. A fried green they're, tomato? They're okay. They're okay. I'm staying okay. away from the fried <laughs> stuff. He wasn't excited about that. Okay, so what food do you want to try? I didn't tell you my favorite thing. I didn't tell it? you my favorite thing right over my shoulder. Look at this. I am at the Lego master section, and that's a, that's my mobile track right there. This whole Lego Ooh. display from Todd is right in here at Exhibition Hall, right next to all that candy I was talking about, right next to the Negro uh, display. The uh, I'll tell you Aww. what, I've had so much fun in the exhibition. I'm going to go out and, and check the rides <laughs> out when we get off the air, though. Okay. All right. Well, you guys try to stay cool out here, and everybody out there, Make sure you catch the Maryland State Fair opening in just literally just a couple of minutes. <laughs> Thank you guys. Bye.